It's big and trick trivia time. Grab your friends and play it online. With Ali and Gina and Taco just for you. It's big and trick trivia time. And we'll feel it all out. Hello, welcome, happy Wednesday, everybody. My name is Ollie with Baker Tricks Entertainment. Thank you for being here on this middle of the week. Uh, Wednesday, I already said that, right? It's just after nine o'clock. We're gonna play some trivia here in just a second. If this is your first time playing, make sure you join the online game. Go to online.bagatrix.com and enter in the code TRICKS2, T-R-I-C-K-S-2. Nothing to download, nothing to sign up for. Just go to online.begatrix.com, enter in tricks to You're gonna see a screen that looks a little bit like this. It's gonna ask you for two pieces of information, what your name is, where you're playing from. Type those things in and hit go, and you are all set. Once you see this screen that says the game will begin shortly, there's nothing else you need to do. Just hang tight. Uh, we'll uh, hang out here for just a second, see if anybody else is gonna join us tonight. Still see some people joining. Uh, so once again, thank you for being here. My name is Ali with Vega Trick Center Entertainment. We're going to have some fun. Uh, before we get into the game, I'll tell you how it works, but I'm also going to tell you about some fun stuff we have coming up this week. Uh, you'll see the events rotating up here. We just finished Music Bingo for Bobby's birthday. Thank you to those of you that joined us for that. That was a lot of fun. Fantastic songs, one for each of the 36 years he's been alive as of midnight tonight. Uh, we're about to do General Knowledge Trivia, which you can see on the screen. We'll be doing that tonight. Uh, starting at 9 o'clock and then tomorrow Thursday at 7 p.m. we have parks and recreation trivia so all your favorite parks and recreation staff from Pawnee Indiana that's tomorrow at 7 p.m. all the info is on our Facebook page you can find that there make sure you click RSVP is going so you get notifications when we post the links so you can join us and then also tomorrow night final public event of the week is our general knowledge trivia night tomorrow at nine we do have another event on friday that is a campaign fundraiser sponsored by citizens uh for larry spades you can see that coming up here uh that one there's a ticket involved you have to purchase a ticket all the information's on facebook if you click there's a link to uh larry spades facebook page citizens for larry spades and um, you can choose to support that or not it's completely up to you but we'll be doing trivia just like this during that event so with all of that said, thank you so much for being here tonight. We're going to have a lot of fun. Tonight's trivia is general knowledge. Questions are about anything and everything. Some will be simple, some will be tough. I'll tell you exactly how the system works here in just a second. Uh, but I do want to say thank you before we go any further to those of you that have been hanging out online with us over these past almost six months now. That's insane. Five months uh, as of like yesterday. Um, we're going to continue to do these online events like I just mentioned, and we're also doing in-person events at some uh, breweries and restaurants in the area. On Mondays, pretty much every other week, we're at Red Arrow in Naperville and Elmhurst. On Tuesdays, we're at Pollyanna in St. Charles, Illinois. We're at Two Pints Lounge in Bolingbrook in the Promenade. Uh, and then starting next Tuesday, we will also be at Freedom Brothers Pizzeria in Plainfield. It is delicious. If you haven't been, the food, the drinks, incredible. They'll be doing trivia outside with inside options if you're comfortable. But check it out. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, on Wednesdays, we do trivia rotating back and forth between Pollyanna in Lamont and Pollyanna in Roselle. So we just had Friends Trivia tonight in Roselle. Jeff hosted that. And then tomorrow, Thursday, we have trivia at Elmhurst Brewing Company. Tomorrow's Harry Potter trivia there. Uh, and we also have Music Bingo every single Thursday at Two Pints Lounge, same place that we do trivia on Tuesdays in Bolingbrook in the Promenade. Um, so again, we have something for all of your comfort levels. If you want to get out and play some trivia safely, these venues are the place to do it. If you want to stay home like me, I'll be hosting online for you. So join us there. Um, whatever you do, thank you so much for supporting us, whether it's going out to a venue and supporting our partners or by supporting us directly. You can see these links below me here. Venmo, PayPal, Zelle, if you feel so inclined, we do accept donations or tips. That's what helps us afford to put on these events. Uh, the platforms that we use are not free. We pay to do this. So when you guys send those donations, it means a heck of a lot to us. It allows us to continue doing this for as long as possible. Um, with all of that said, here's Taco. Uh, let me remind you one last time. You can see on the screen 
If you want to participate, be included in the game, you're not going to answer here on YouTube. You do want to join the online game. It's online.begatrix.com. Enter in the code TRIX2. Uh, actually, let me just remind you all of one more thing. So uh, we do have the Begatrix loyalty program. It's been somewhat in hiatus because we don't have uh, prizes to give away for, for tons of loyalty, things like we were doing when we were up and running uh, in March. But we are pivoting. It's just taken a little while and we will be offering online prizes for all of our events moving forward. After tonight, I still have some kinks to work out, um, but we'll be offering points that you can earn uh, and I'll have all the details. I don't have those for you tonight. I'm just bringing this up to mention. If you have not yet, do join the uh, Begatrix loyalty program. It's free to join. You'll get a unique number that you can use uh, for every time you play trivia. And then how it's going to work is you'll earn points. You'll earn taco bucks. You'll earn online currency. If you place in trivia, first, second, third, uh, et cetera, we'll be doing tons of fun bonus stuff. Uh, I'll be able to dish these bucks out online and it'll go to your loyalty member account so make sure that you've signed up for that there are always links in the description on the youtube video uh the youtube description and you can also find links for that directly on our website begatrix.com uh some of you are in the begatrix online community i posted what the begatrix uh the the taco bucks looks like so that's the kind of currency you'll be earning just like a stanley nickel or a shrewd buck um but yeah, with all of that said, do make sure you're part of the loyalty program sooner rather than later. So once we start that, which may happen as soon as tomorrow, um, you can start earning some taco bucks and redeeming it for some incredible prizes. I'll share um, some of the prizes that we have up for grabs already in the online community probably after we finish here. So thank you guys for all the support and we are gonna dive into this. So just a reminder, if you haven't played with us before, this is a simple game. There'll be a mixture of multiple choice questions and questions that you actually have to type the answer in for but we're going to start out with the multiple choice questions we're going to keep it a little simpler and what that means is when i read the question i will start a timer which is 25 seconds once that 25 second timer starts for the multiple choice questions you'll see four options pop up on the screen a b c and d one of them is the correct answer all you have to do is click the answer you believe to be correct if that is the correct answer, you'll earn up to 150 points towards your total based on how quickly you answer. For the multiple choice questions and those only, you earn more points the quicker you get your answer in. So if you think the answer is A, click on A. Don't hesitate, just get that answer in. But be careful because if you click on an answer, you can't change it. So if you click A, because you're trying to be really quick and then you realize that's the wrong answer, you can't go back and switch it. So you do want to be careful, but you also want to be quick. A little bit of strategy here. Things will change when we get to the next round, but I'll explain that when we get there. If you're still wondering how this is working and saying, Ali, slow down, I have no idea what's going on, that's okay. We have a practice question we're gonna start off with, which means this first one doesn't count for points. It is only here to help you learn the system. So here we go, guys. Thanks for being here. Cheers to y'all. Uh, before we do this, I'll give it one more minute for people to join. Let me see who's out here tonight. Uh, Christiane, what's up? Happy you're here on a Wednesday. Hey, Steph Curtis. Jeremy, welcome back after Music Bingo. John Jay, what's up, Jay Hendershot? My man, good to see you again. Hey, hey, Crystal, don't worry, we turned up our AC as long as you're muted. Hey, Albin, welcome back. Mr. Rice, Chris B, my friend, welcome back from Music Bingo. John Jay? My friend, how are you? Hey, friends, joined at a great time. That's the dream. <laughs> hey, Jennifer. What did you say? Oh, yeah, future dates. Uh, hey, Kim. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Maggie Whip. Yes, I saw that you said that. At least you're going to have some time for Animal Crossing, right? That's a, uh, let's look on the bright side, maybe. Uh, hey, Lindsay. Welcome. Just in time. Uh, yeah, you know what? Honestly, I'm starting to drink right now, and I'm pretty sure most of you out there are loyalty members, so there's a decent chance that I'll start dishing out some Taco Bucks tonight. Um, you know, why not? Uh, we have it ready to go. You know, I have some Taco Bucks. I have some Taco Bucks in my back pocket. Let's ask Taco. You want to give out some Taco Bucks tonight? He's into oh, it. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh. Yeah, yeah. Wait a second. That's a yes. That's a yes, he said. There you go. 
All right, with all that said, uh, if this is your first time playing, welcome. <laughs> this is how it goes. I won't say that it isn't. Uh, here we go, question number one. This is the practice question. Lindsay, this one's for you. What is the name of your host today? What is my name? This one doesn't count for points, it's just for practice. Is my name Taylor, Zach, Ali, or Isaac? J, every minute, every hour. I still have a fantastic CD that Jay made when we were, how old were we? Like I think I've heard it. 17, yeah. Sky and the Purple Haze, I forget what it's called. I've got it, Jay, in case you were wondering. It's downstairs. I picked the one I named my guinea pig after. Sorry, Ollie, it's not me. Oh, that's okay. Hey, Jess and John, I presume. Jay, we'll listen to that CD next time, this weekend, when you come up. All right, here we go. Everybody's in. Correct answer. If this was worth points, you would earn points if you said Ali. That is the correct answer. Great job. All right, here we go. Number two. This one now starts counting for points. Here we go. Number two. What fermented grain is used to make the Japanese drink sake? What fermented grain is used to make sake? Is it barley, oats, rice, or wheat? I kept a clean stripper dolly. <laughs> oh. I figured that's what you meant, Crystal. I didn't. I, I was picturing you using it like as an actual dollar somewhere, and it brought me joy. I don't know why. <laughs> All this Taco Bucks, Taco Bell makes me want. Would you have gotten Taco Bucks if you picked your favorite Hanson, my favorite Hanson brother? You know, I'm pretty sure I've told you who it is. It's Zach. Um, and yeah, maybe. Night, Alvin. Yes, Lindsay, you're right. Uh, this is a huge old social. 97% of you got this right. Rice! I had some sake yesterday. Cheers, everybody. Did it sit well? No, it did not. Jay, I need to hear that CD more than anything. The lady who had the <laughs> sliced cheese just chilling in her pocket. Oh, that's a story for another time. Number three, speaking of cheese, great job, Jay Hendershot. You must have known. Which of the following cheeses was not named after a town in England? Which of the following cheeses is not named after a town in England? Is it Colby, Wensleydale, Stilton, or Cheddar? Yum. Yeah, you touched that candle. Oh, Maggie. Who's Weird Al? I've touched Weird Al's hand. That's the one I always remember. All right, everybody's in, uh, and this one was tough. This one was tough. 29% of you said Colby, 19%. Six people said Wensleydale. Uh, three people said Stilton. 13 people said Cheddar. Uh, and cheddar is not the correct answer. It is Colby. Colby is actually California, uh, I believe. Um, but cheddar is not only the name of a town in England, it is the process that they invented there. Uh, it's called cheddaring. It's something that you do specifically to cheddar cheese. You, you cut it up in a certain way. Um, but cheddar is a town in England. Colby, the one here in the United States. So good job, those nine of you that got that. A uh, really cheesy question. Number four. <laughs> a Russian dog named Laika, or Laika, was the first dog to do what? A Russian dog named Laika was the first dog to do what? Was it become a guide dog, orbit the Earth, receive a military medal, or travel to the North Pole? And with this, John is going to be, yeah, yeah, the Wensleydale. Wallace and Gromit like the cheese. These are named after English cities. Yeah, Chris. Rochefort as well, I believe, is a city. Yeah. That's France, though. That's not England. Everybody's saying, you guys knew this one. You know your famous dogs. Uh, Leica was the first dog to orbit the Earth. Or There's a good uh, astronaut dog gift, but I couldn't use it, obviously. I would have given it away here. No, but great job. Oh, that's social. Cheers, everybody. 
Number five. Speaking of cities, now we're talking about the U.S. What U.S. city provided the property names used in the original Monopoly board game? The original Monopoly was based around what U.S. city? Is it Las Vegas, Chicago, Atlantic City, or New York City? Addison! What's up, Addison? Welcome. Playing trivia on your own? Yeah, no, the different places. Addison, you, I think they're different places. Oh. Maybe. J, ah, yes, the lovely English countryside of craft. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I'm taking a, vac oh. a holiday. I'm going on holiday oh. to craft. Addison's at grandma's. Yeah, I've been through the lot. Yeah, I know. Uh, you guys knew this. I'm pretty sure I've asked it before, but I loved this gif and I wanted to ask it again. The correct answer is Atlantic City. Atlantic City. That originally Monopoly and also uh, Monopoly has been around for just about a hundred years and I just learned I think there's people that argue about this but it was uh, invented by a woman I believe the man who says he invented it his wife invented it sounds about right hey Chris thanks for the donation hey Crystal thank you for the donation uh, we appreciate it thank you guys uh, let's take a look at the standings tacos party people in first place the B team in second JMO in third Everybody else rotating through. I see a poo-poo and a pee-pee out there. Miley Cyrus on a wrecking ball out there. That's what's up. Got us by the short and curlies. What's up, the bears? How you doing? Huh, Sarah. Like, oh. I see you out there. <laughs> Maggie. Maggie? Jesus. Like Is Monopoly Man wearing sweats? Yeah, you know, he can... He can wear whatever he wants. He's rich Uncle Pennybags. He can wear sweats, I, I guess. Um, yeah, so... Louis Vuitton, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Louis Vuitton. What's the shoe, Louboutin, with the red soles? Yeah. Look at me, I'm a regular fashionista. Um... So let me just remind you really quick while I'm letting this scroll through. If you haven't signed up for the loyalty program, please do that because there's a very good chance I'm going to dish out some taco bucks tonight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll have to get Taco and Addison together. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Jeremy, that sounds right. All right, here we go. Back to the questions. Number six. Which West Coast-based burger chain has a secret menu including variations on regular items referred to as animal style? Is it Carl's Jr., In-N-Out, Shake Shack, or Jack in the Box? I have this restaurant once, and, um, I had it once. I liked it, yeah. I wouldn't make a pilgrimage out there for it. But if it came here, I'd eat there. Bobby K, what's up, my man? Happy uh, birthday in two hours and 42 minutes. Yeah, hey, I did it right. Uh, everybody's in. 23 of you correctly said in and out. In and out. Yeah, double, double. All right, number seven. Sports. Which player holds the record for winning the most Golden Glove Awards. So that's a, uh, not a boxer, a pitcher. Which player holds the record for winning the most Golden Glove Awards in the Major League Baseball, MLB? Is it Brooks Robinson, Greg Maddox, Ozzie Smith, or Jim Cat Cott? Becky, I don't remember their fries, but I believe that. Shake Shack. We have Shake Shacks out here now, right? Yeah. Yeah. I want to try a Shake Shack. Oh, you had it when you went out there with Yvonne? Yeah, in May. Yeah. What, for three years ago? Yeah. For the Sonoma Last or... Last time I ever ate a burger. <laughs> Jeez. But, you know, beef burgers. There's a Shake Shack in Oak Brook. Good, 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 good. Oh, you can door dash. We're All right. We're going to do some Grubhub in this weekend. We are going to... We or should tomorrow. Yeah, we should Grubhub tomorrow. Um, everybody's in. Five of you said Brooks Robinson. One of you said Jim Cott. Uh, Twelve of you said Ozzy Smith. Fifteen of you said Greg... Maddox and Greg Maddox is the correct answer. Great job. 15 of you got that right. Tacos being extra cute right now. Question number eight. 
in 2020, the year 200 and 2020. Who won all four awards for the category's Best New Artist, Record of the Year, Album of the Year, and Song of the Year at the Grammys? That would help. At the Grammys in 2020, who won all four awards, Best New Artist, Record of the Year, Album of the Year, and Song of the Year? Was it Post Malone, Lizzo, Billie Eilish, or Lil Nas X? Is it Lil Nas X or Lil Nas 10? Can you make another one of these? Already? No, no, it's about, it's about half gone. Oh, hold on. Nothing to do with this question. Yeah, Chris, Golden Glove is a fielding award. It goes to one player at each position, not just pitching. Thank you. I didn't know that. In case you were wondering if I was joking about not knowing sports. Now you know. If Post Malone's real name isn't Postifer, something is wrong. Oh, I love that. Uh, Jay Hendershot, I am drinking a bourbon mule. Bourbon, it's a double bourbon mule. The ginger, wait, am I saying it right? Yeah, bourbon mule or Kentucky mule. Yeah, Kentucky mule, but it's bourbon mule. Sometimes it's too sweet, so I do it with double the bourbon. And when I say and I, I do it, Gina makes it. And I didn't put simple syrup in. And no simple syrup. Because then you get it at a bar sometimes. They do. So it's just bourbon, lime juice, and ginger beer. Bourbon, lime juice, and ginger beer. Hashtag sport, Sarah. Uh, everybody's in. I'm surprised. I thought more people would have said Posty, um, but the correct answer is William Eyelash, Billy Eilish, Billy Eilish. Uh, speaking of the the jokey joke that Jess said, I, I, maybe people knew this earlier than I did, um, but. Did you guys know, or when did you learn that Topher, like Topher Grace, oh. his name is Christopher? Okay, I was literally thinking of that earlier today. Yeah, yeah, and in, get out of my brain. instead of going by Chris, he goes by like Topher. Um, same thing with Alexander. It's just Alexander, and instead of Alex, you go by Xander. I mean, you can oh, be, you can yeah. also be named those things. Yeah. Okay. Good. People are learning. It's not just me. Good. 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 Uh, yeah, no, I, I had no idea Topher Grace was just Christopher, but it worked. Look at that. He, you know, another Christopher. Uh, we love you, Chris, but another Christopher in Hollywood probably wouldn't stick out as much as a Topher. All right, number nine. Sorry, everybody. Uh, I know, because he's adorable. Okay. I know, I'm just kidding. Reportedly, the most expensive spice in the world, saffron, comes from which flower? Most expensive spice by weight in the world. Saffron comes from which flower? Is it lily, rose, sunflower, or crocus? Okay, good. I'm glad that people learned that with me. Yeah. I Addison, do you listen to Post Malone or Billie Eilish or Lil Nas X or who was the other person? Taylor Swift? The other option? <laughs> Crystal. <laughs> Lizzo. Thank you, Becky. Oh, my gosh. Topher Grace is married to the sister of one of your coworkers. That's interesting. Whoa. Uh, you guys know your spices, including baby, sporty, scary, ginger, and posh. Uh, the saffron spice comes from the crocus flower. Crocus. Good job. 25 of you got that right. Number 10. Which author became famous in the 2000s for his popular novels and eventually movies, Angels and Demons and The Da Vinci Code? Was it Dan Brown, James Patterson, Michael Crichton, or John Green? That's a crocus of shit, Bobby. <laughs> uh, Addison Dance Ninja went through a Billie Eilish phase. Now she likes Lizzo more. Atta girl. We love, we have Lizzo on, yeah, we have Lizzo on vinyl here. That is a fantastic album. Lizzo was on um, Prince's final album. She played flute. He, I think she sang some backup. He totally appreciated talented women. Yes, he did. As he is one. Did, wasn't his whole band one um, no. Not all of them, but most of them. The guitarist. Specifically, remember she was the one writing the Purple Rain riffs? Ring. The kid. 
Uh, everybody's in. Correct answer. Most of you knew this is Dan Brown. 24 of you got it right. Great job. How many people are here? 33 people. What's up? Wednesday night. Thanks for being here. If you weren't with us earlier, we're going to have some taco bucks to dish out uh, to the winners. You know, probably. Maybe if you say something funny, I'll give you some taco. Bobby K is going to get some taco bucks because it's his birthday. All right. Number 11, final multiple choice question. Oh, that's a number 11 drink. That's the longest it's taken in a while. Uh, as of this year, 2020, Forbes did release its Fortune 500 list once again. Uh, which company, as of 2020, tops Fortune's Fortune 500 list? Is it Amazon, Apple, CVS, or Walmart? Um, Bobby K, I'll send you a whole list. Check your phone, Bobby K. All right, everybody's in. This is a tough one, uh, unless you regularly read Fortune or, or check on these lists. Um, 17 people said Amazon, eight people said Apple, nobody said CVS, six people said Walmart. It wasn't CVS, don't worry, but it was Walmart. Walmart still topping that list right now. Um, Amazon obviously doing very well, Apple doing well. Uh, but Walmart still atop the Fortune 500 list currently. And that is it for multiple choice questions. So let's take a look at the standings currently in first, Google search results for. In second, Tacos Party People still up there. In third, please don't touch my dog. Got to be a story there. Uh, so great job. Check out, see where you're at. It's because Walmart is such a great value. Oh. She's been making America great again for 11 years, way more than Trumpsters. Oh, I love it. CVS spent their profits on buying more receipt paper. Yep. Take a look. We're going to get into the next round here in just a second. <laughs> All right, so things are gonna change, my friends. We're still playing trivia, but we're no longer going to have multiple choice questions. So instead, when I start your timer, you won't see four options pop up on the screen. You will see a text box open up, and you have to type the answer in all on your own. So just based on that fact, it's gonna be a little bit tougher, but I'm going to increase the point values to 250 points per question and I'm gonna make it so that you earn all of the points if you're right and none of the points if you're wrong. You're not losing points if it takes you a few seconds to type. So take your time, try to spell things right, but don't cheat. No Googling, no searching, no asking your uh, electronic assistants for help. Uh, but anybody with you can play and, and participate and give you the answer, but no cheating, no Googling, no looking these up. Um, that is about it. So the next five questions all come from a mini bonus round you still have 25 seconds to answer but again you're typing the answer in this is all about tv it's all about the television uh specifically tv actors and actresses some of these will be easy some of these will be tough right uh but they're worth 250 points a piece uh what's going to happen is i'm going to flip to the next question i'm going to show you the name of a famous television character oh disregard the word tv it should say tv or movie because uh at least one of these is a movie character so i'm going to tell you the name of a famous tv or movie character and you just tell me the actor or actress who portrays that character um that's it i'm making it sound tougher than it is i'm going to tell you the name of a tv or movie character you just tell me who plays that character some of these will be live action some of these will be animated so you just tell me who voices it like this one Number 12, name the actor or actress who voiced this character. Buzz Lightyear. Wait, how many people really bought that shower curtain? I could have made like at least $3. 
Jay. Yes, I, oh, I bought the, uh, as you know, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Remastered 1 and 2. I pre-ordered it, which means I have access to the warehouse demo. And the soundtrack is incredible. I'm so excited for the full game to come out. Wow. Somebody knows a billionaire. Oh, thanks, guys. Thanks for the affiliate <laughs> money. Uh, it is not Tom Hanks. That is Woody. Um, the correct answer here is Tim Allen. Tim Allen. We need to rewatch Galaxy Quest. Tim Allen, the correct answer. Good job. Almost every single one of you got that right. So we're going to cheers and drink to that. Number 13. Name the actor or actress who played this TV character, Peg Bundy. I'm looking for first and last name. I, Peg Bundy. I did this specifically because we see her all the time, and Gina always cannot remember. And neither can I, to be fair. I currently fair. cannot remember her name. Uh -huh. And I, we've seen her in three things recently. Like, I love, I love Futurama. Mm -hmm. And took a life um, with me. What was, uh, she's in uh, Sons of Anarchy. We just watched her in... Shameless. She was in Shameless, and then she was also in Dead to Me. She was oh, in Dead to Me. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's the mom. Um, Bobby K said, I can never remember how to spell, and I had to double check this spelling like six times because it is very interesting spelling, but because of this system, I'm able to assign you guys points even if you spell it wrong. Um, so as long as your answer sounds like the right answer. Leela on Futurama, somebody said. Uh, the correct answer is Katie Seagal. Yep. Katie Seagal, and it's K A T E Y S A G A L. Uh, so interesting spelling, but actually, four of you got that perfectly right. You spelled it right. Um, so good job. Number 14, name the actor or actress who plays or voices the TV character Eric Cartman. For the majority of you, I know you're thinking, shit, I have a one and two shot here. Who is it? Sarah, oh yeah, good job, sorry. There's a documentary I wanna rewatch, that Six Days to Air, did you ever see it? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, correct answer here. It's not Seth MacFarlane. It is not Matt Stone. It is Trey Parker. Trey Parker, the other half, South Park. It's incredible how many of the voices each of them do. Uh, number 15, name the actor or actress who played the TV character Diane Chambers. What actor or actress played Diane Chambers? Sure, thank you. Lindsay, the people who make that shower curtain are gonna <laughs> ramp up production. Guys, people wanna learn, let's make more. <laughs> then nobody's gonna buy them. Uh, everybody's in, this is from Cheers. This is from Cheers, the correct answer here. Not Susan Lucci, Kirstie Alley. Is this a Cheers question? Yes, it is. Uh, it is Shelly Long. Shelly Long, good job, 63% of you got that right. We have one more of these, one more from this category. Oh, whoops, sorry. One more, here we go. Number 16, name the actor or actress who played the character Maud Finlay. Maud Finlay, who played Maud, as you would know her.
All right, everybody's in. And this category says no more top three. Uh, yeah, mod. I believe this was spinoff. Uh, mod. Correct answer. Not Melania Trump. Not Betty White. Good guess. Seeing a couple typos. Let me fix these. Correct answer is B. Arthur. B. Arthur. So good job. That 67% of you got that right. Every one of these, um, even if it felt a little tough overall, but you guys as a whole answered really well throughout. So let's take a look at the standings. Let's see what's happened here. Shirtless Beach Volleyball is up into first. Google search results in second. Ejo numero uno up into third. What's up? Everybody else rotating through. Take a look. See where you're at. Let me check up on this chat. That rhymed. There's a Spotify playlist. Of Tony Hawk 1 and 2 sound. That's what's up. Yeah, I heard that pretty much the whole playlist is going to be in, plus more songs, every every level from the original two games, every skater. Uh, I just saw um, some fun news, too. Let's see. <laughs> Maga to the rescue. I hate that I blanked on chat. Yeah, that always hurts when you know that you know it, but you just can't remember it. about to go into the next round that's going to be a picture round all right here we go so the next round still five questions that have to do with each other still worth 250 points a piece you're going to earn all 250 points if you're right you still have to type the answer in however these are not just regular questions it's a picture round which means i'm going to show you a picture and you have to identify something um, for the next five questions it's all the same category. I'm going to show you a picture of a famous fictional canine. I'm gonna show you a picture of a famous fictional dog. You just have to name that fictional dog. So if I showed you a picture of the Charlie Brown with his little doggy pal, your answer would be Snoopy. Uh, but that is not one of them. No, it's not. Good thing I checked. Uh, that is not one of them tonight. I'm going to show you a picture of a famous fictional dog. You just tell me the name of that fictional dog. Here we go. Some of these easy, some of these tough. What is the name of this fictional dog? Number 17. Crystal, I don't think this is as tough as the fish round. Oh, okay. well, that's okay. You're back just in time for the famous dog round. Can you give this to your dog? Oh, you got him a treat? Oh, I switched the top of here. <laughs> oh, what a nice smile. Everybody's in, and this is a double social, a 100% everybody knew the original famous dog lassie cheers everybody that's a two drink social again cheersing with whatever you have be it water lemonade iced tea coffee or alcohol whatever you choose to drink it's not about the drink that you have it's about celebrating that you guys answered these questions so well so great job you destroyed that one number 18 name this famous fictional dog what is the name of this fictional pup Yeah, the fish round was pretty brutal, eh? <laughs> oh, it's okay, buddy. Take a look. It's in a book. All right, everybody's in. This is not Stimpy this time. Not Taco 2, if you got a skeeter on your beer, it's the 12 year old out there. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, the correct answer, this is Courage. Courage, the cowardly dog. The ox. Yeah, 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 no. Uh, not a bad guess, but this one is Courage. And his shade, he's just a little bit lighter. You know, Stimpy's more red, he's more magenta. Oh yeah, Stimpy's the cat, Ren, Ren is the dog. 
A little chihuahua. Number 19. Name this famous fictional dog, Maggie. They used nine lassies, and they were all descendants of the original lassie, whose name was Pow. Oh, Jeremy, thanks for Googling that. Uh, Amy, the mustache round was in Zoom. We did that in Zoom. Addison, yeah, I'm sure you know this one. All right, everybody's in. This is from our favorite twice a year movie, as we've discussed. Uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas. This is Jack Skellington's ghostly pup, Zero. Zero. All right, two more. Number 20, what is the name of this famous fictional dog? This one's kind of tough. What is the name of this famous fictional dog? If you're not sure about this one, study up because we have a full, I don't want to say it yet, now I'll say it times up. We'll have a full Muppet round coming up uh, either tomorrow or the day after. So there's a hint for those of you who are hanging out tonight. There's a nice little heads up. Study your Muppets. We have a Muppet picture round coming up soon. Uh, this one, if you're, if you're close and you know what it sounds like, you're going to get points here. Is this Yoda? Uh, Muppet dog. I'm not going to take that, but I will take all these misspellings. This is Rolf. Rolf. So if you put Ralph or anything like that that sounds like Rolf, you got points. Rolf. What did you say? Ralph. Ralph. Sorry. Ralph. Ralph. Somebody, yeah, people put Ralph. Ralph. Or Rolf. I don't know. Ralph. I don't know. I know there's a W. Oh, Abby loves Sesame Street. Oh. I'm Becky. <laughs> My Ooh, Muppet. I can make those now. I do. I bought a million flashcards you can make. Muppet flashcards. Waiting for a Jennifer round. We'll do That's Jennifer good. round next week then. Jen, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> All right, final dog question. You guys are sassy. I love it. All right, what is the name of this famous fictional dog? Sometimes I think this is Taco's role model. And that was like the least bad image I could find. Quick, Holly, put up an affiliate link, yeah, for the Muppet uh, shower curtain or flash card, flash cards. Can we also get a husbands of Jennifer round? <laughs> How many could I do just for Jennifer Aniston? Brad Pitt, Ben Affleck, were they married? I don't know. There's a Benefer, the Jennifer Garner. And Jennifer Lopez. Well. I guess she was the only Jennifer. <laughs> Justin Thoreau. She so was I chose the, the one wrong Jennifer. Don't even look at the comments. I don't want to <laughs> hear it. Added. I don't want to hear. Um, yeah, Husbands and Jennifer. Well, that would be a gym round, I guess. All right, everybody's in here. This is Stephen King's special. Uh, that Ford Pinto destroyer, Cujo. Correct answer, Cujo. Uh, good job. If you spelled it with a K, that's okay. You got points. This is not Beethoven. Uh, he was covered more in slobber than blood. Um, but good job. You guys did well. Let's take a look at the standings. Shirtless Beach Volleyball in first. Team Cream in second. A-hole numero uno in third. Everybody else rotating through. Take a look. See where you're at. We're going to get into the final round here in just a second. One answer. Best be Jen's husband. Certainly. Yes. Maggie, I, I think I'll do that. He was Aniston's... Okay, thanks, Sarah. You got my back there. Whoa, Jennifer Sterna dated a Ben while all of that was going on. And it was super obnoxious. So I should call you Benifer, okay? He was... Yeah, Sarah... Okay, and he's just not that into you. They were, you know, but Nailed have you it. seen that? Uh, I'm going to say yes so that everybody <laughs> gives me a break. Up. Yeah. Is shirtless beach volleyball Becky's husband Dave's team? Crystal, good call. If that is, that's good. All right, 
Uh, so the final 10 questions are just that. They're the final 10 questions. They are not multiple choice. I'm gonna read the question. I'll start the timer, still 25 seconds. And just like the last 10 questions, you have to type the answer in. There will not be multiple choice. However, these are worth 300 points a piece. This is still anybody's game. Give it your best shot. No points off if you're wrong. The only thing you can't do is cheat. So no Googling, no looking stuff up. That's it, here we go. We'll do five and then look at the standings. Question 22, what Charles Dickens book first published in serial form from 1837 to 1839 bears the subtitle, The Parish Boy's Progress? What is the title of the Dickens book first published from 1837 to 1839 as a serial? It's subtitled, The Parish Boy's Progress. Take a look, it's in a book. Bobby K mentioned shirtless beach volleyball on stream. So it might be Chris then. I it is, yes. Chris is, uh, I've noticed, Chris likes to take his team names from Bobby K if we do uh, trivia right after music bingo. I'm very proud of Chris and I'm proud of myself for, for putting that together. All right, everybody's in. It's not great expectations. It's not Tale of Two Cities, Wuthering Heights. This was Oliver Twist. Is that the more, sir, more, please? Please, sir, please, can sir, I have some more. Can I have some more? Uh, Oliver Twist. All right, number 20. Good job. That's a social. 71% of you got it right. Cheers. Number 23. With his trademark rocky appearance, sense of humor, and famous battle cry, it's clobbering time. Fictional character Ben Grimm is better known by what superhero alias? What is the better known superhero alias of Ben Grimm? Gina loves Oliver and Company, the Disney movie, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maggie just mentioned yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, Maggie's right. A lot of people don't talk. Yeah, about people. When I ask, uh, so coming from a different angle on this, when I ask, when I do Disney trivia at bars and restaurants, I'll th usually throw in one Oliver and Twist question because Gina likes it specifically so I write those questions and people always look at me like I'm friggin nuts they're like what what is that and I'm like oh it's Oliver and Twist like a very famous Disney movie but apparently no yeah, <laughs> Bobby K are you a wrecking ball lol yes wrecking my score <laughs> oh thanks Steph Curtis appreciate that had some yeah, we did we played D&D &D last night so I got my impressions on it. <clears throat> Role playing. What'd you say, Billy Joel? Wrote the music? Oh, everybody's in. Correct answer is not the Beast, not Incredible Hulk. The Hulk is Bruce Banner. This is the thing. The thing, part of the Fantastic Four. 78% of you got that right. That's a cheersy social. Cheers. Number 24. Captured in 1996 after one of the longest and most expensive FBI investigations ever, infamous criminal Ted Kaczynski is better known by what alias? My true crime fans out there. Seeing Maggie's description of Oliver and Company in Addison just makes it sound like even here. The one with the Either. homeless cat who gets adopted by the dog in the game. Every time I hear or I see um, Addison dance, I think of Ninja Dance Party. Remember when I was showing you them with twerp? Yeah. Ninja Dance Party. Wait, what's Balto? Balto? Oh. A movie about a hero dog. It's good. I remember Looks watching cute. it in school. All right, everybody's in. You guys did well here. You know your true crime. Uh, I'm going to be a little lax on this. Uh, it's not Ted Bundy. It's not Taco Bag. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> it's not the Green River Killer. It is the Unabomber. Cheers, everybody. Great job with his manifesto. Taco is a serial killer. Uh, he literally only if you Taco are... Taco is only a serial killer if you are treats. <laughs> yeah, he's still out. All right, number 25. What type of classical female singing voice, what range, has the highest vocal range of all voice types? What classical female singing voice has the highest vocal range of all voice types? P 
poor Ben. Everyone gets cool powers and he turns into a rock. Yeah, Karen, I'm with you. Johnny Storm can literally fly, turn into fire, and then also just be regular when he wants. Reed Richards can just stretch anything he wants. And Sue can go and visit. She can just force. Oh, yeah. Grim got screwed. All right. Everybody's in. Uh, as long as you gave me... I'm just looking for one specific word. Um, it's not alto. It's not falsetto. It's not Apollo Creed. Interesting answer. The correct answer is soprano. Soprano. Any variation, mezzo, whatever. Uh, if you put soprano, you got points here. Um, soprano is the correct answer. Great job. 90% of you. Cheers. Which means we're back at the standings one more time. In first place, still shirtless beach volleyball. In second, a whole numero uno team cream in three. Everybody else rotating through. Take a look. See where you're at. Maggie, thank you for the donation. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Just saw that. Lindsay, thank you so much for the donation. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you, Lindsay. Thank you, everybody. Lindsay, I still have a, a, a vinyl album holder for you. I'm holding on to it. I got to shoot you a message. Get that out to you so you can display your albums proudly. All right, my friends and compatriots, we have six questions left. So we're gonna do each of these one at a time. There were 300 points apiece. Give it your best shot. No Googling, no cheating, because we have some taco bucks on the line. I just decided we're just gonna do it tonight. Here we go. Uh, number 26, what 1969 David Bowie song released five days before the Apollo 11 mission lifted off on its way to the moon was his first to chart in both the UK and the US, I just need the name of the song. What 1969 Bowie song released just before Apollo 11 lifted off on the way to the moon was the first to chart in the UK and the US. Bobby K, looking at you. <laughs> Lindsay Davis gonna print her own Taco Bucks as current. We don't accept Taco Bucks for the uh, album holders. <laughs> Man, it's just US denominations. Jess, I should have used a labyrinth gift for this one. There's a lot of labyrinth fans out there. Oh, I know that. Watch that we can watch it right after this if you want. I do. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Well, the opening part is scary. Yeah, let's do it. It's crazy how different labyrinth and pan's labyrinth are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're both great, though. Yeah. Uh, everybody's in. Let me go through and fix some of these. Looking for the name of the song. There's is there some parenthetical space. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna go with the name of the song. Be a little strict here. Uh, the correct answer: is Space Oddity. Space Oddity. Oh, I see one in there. That's really close. This one. All right, number twenty-seven. Some geography, my friends. What city would you be in? Not that anybody that's watching this can travel. What city would you be in if you were feeding pigeons in the famous Piazza San Marco? What city would you be in if you were feeding pigeons in the famous Piazza San Marco? Damn it, should have put the shower curtain up. Jess, I do want to hear that story on our next Zoom, which will be this weekend. But it will be Gina-less because she'll be at her bachelorette party. I'll pop in. I'll have to make my own drinks and everything. <laughs> uh, we'll do a Zoom this weekend. We'll do it. Taco and I will take that. Take care of that. All right, everybody's in. This one's kind of tough. <laughs> Somebody said, seriously, no more geography questions until my shower curtain arrives. Uh, but they got it right. Uh, the correct answer is Venice. 
Venice Piazza San Marco is in Venice. Uh, most of you knew it at least was Italian, except for the two people, one who said Danville, Illinois, and one person said Pizza Hut. Bad news if you're a Pizza Hut fan. I just read that they're closing down like 3,000 locations. But if you live in Lockport, don't worry, because it's only dine-in locations, and ours is just a strictly carry-out and delivery. It's fine. All right, number 28. What very, this, you know, guys, let's just give you some points here. What very successful musician was the drummer in Nirvana? What very successful musician currently was the drummer in the band Nirvana? Who's going to jump into other squares now? Yeah. Amy, you've been to the Piazza San Marco feeding pigeons? Crystal has two. She's been there shit everywhere. Crystal has two? I love it. Can't wait for Gina House to pop in and be like, oh no, the whiskey already. Oh yeah, when I was drinking your wine. If you're drunker than me, there's going to be a problem. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I'm just kidding. No, that's good. Okay. I got my liquid IV ready to go. Ooh, Sarah, good point. Uh, technically, you could visit that in Orlando, Florida, and Epcot. Well, I've been there. Yeah, there I've been there. Pigeons. Not what we're looking for. I but I like where your head's at, Sarah. Uh, the correct answer here is not little drummer boy or Foo Fighter guy or animal. How you know? Good on you for being on the Muppets kick. Uh, make sure you're ready for that tomorrow or Friday. I don't remember which day. Uh, the correct answer is Dave Grohl. What an incredible person, Dave Grohl. What a great gift. Did you see this gift? It's awesome. Yeah, I love it. All right, just a couple questions left. Twenty nine. What is the name of the Guillermo del Toro film? That won the 2018 Academy Award for Best Picture. What 2018, uh, what film by Guillermo del Toro won the 2018 Oscar for Best Picture? Did he do Pan's Labyrinth? Yeah, too? I was just about to yeah. say that's really Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. I it's thought I was bringing it full circle, circle here. Yeah. Just watch the video forever long. Yes, Jay. Wow, look at Crystal's stuff. Crystal, Dave Grohl is from the small town. My wife's from Warren, Ohio. He has an alleyway in the world's largest drumstick there. I love that, Crystal. I love this extra info that we get in the chat. I love Bobby K does a good Everlong, I believe. The extremely creepy shape of water. Um, let's see. Creepy fish movie. Uh, and the Oscar goes to La La Land. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Oh. Moonlight. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Shape of water is the correct answer. Shape of water. 65% of you got it right. Great job. Thank you for putting up with my horrible jokes. Number 30. 10 Things I Hate About You, the adorable 1999 rom-com starring Julia Stiles huh, and Heath Ledger huh, is a modern retelling of what Shakespeare comedy? Hollywood Squares. Oh my God, totally. That's a totally COVID acceptable. Most game shows... Jeopardy would be fine. Wheel of Fortune, they'd have to spread out and they'd have to wipe the wheel down every time. Jay Hendershot, remind me to send you a video about Everlong. I got a good Everlong video for you. I guess, Chris, I could send it to you too if you love Everlong. All right, everybody's in. Correct answer, not Romeo and Juliet. Not Midsummer, not Othello. It is Taming of the Shrew. The Taming of the Shrew. 84% of you got that right. Cheers, that's a social. I still remember, um, it's not scary, not another teen movie. When he goes up and he does the heat pleasure, and he's got a gun. And then they all freak out. He's got a gun! She's got a gun! And then they start evacuating. Yeah, it was like 
I think it was the first Not Another Teen Movie, which had Chris Evans, remember? Wow. Much younger Chris Evans. Uh, all right, 31. Final question, my friends. Here we go. Uh, this is a tough one. What 1985 comedy film was Tim Burton's feature-length directorial debut? What was the first film that Tim Burton ever directed? 1985 is a comedy. Oh, Knight's Tale. Knight's Tale, um, for the Game of Thrones fan, I think Knight's Tale had King Baratheon. Wasn't he one of the guys with uh, Paul Bettany, Alan Tudyk? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Chance yeah, there. Mark Addy. Mark Addy. He was Roland. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a fun rewatch, too. Hell yeah. I would watch a Knight's, uh, a Knight's you can Tale. You Pleasure Night. It's def it's on uh, Netflix, my friends. If you're on Netflix. And then apparently, uh, everyone said that the new thing about you is on Disney Plus. All right, everybody's in. Uh, oh, we have a reverse social. No one. Nobody. Wait, did did you know it? this? Two people got it right. Oh yeah, you spelled it differently. Okay, okay, okay. I'm oh, still very fun. excited. Two people got this. Uh, three, three people got people this. Got the correct uh, answer awesome. is Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Four people, sorry. Four people. Pee Wee's Big Adventure was Tim Burton's directorial debut. He had done short films before this, but his first feature length film that he directed was Pee Wee's Big Adventure. So classic. we're still going to do a reverse cheers to that. Cheers, everybody. Ah, all right. So. Yeah, Jen, thank you for pointing that out. Yeah, nobody's cheating. People aren't Googling it. You're right. Um, okay, so before we go any further, let me just say thank you so much for being here again. It's a Wednesday, uh, just after 10. We're only an hour and 58 minutes away from an official happy birthday to the fucking incredible Bobby K. I'm so sorry uh, for any children out there. Um, Bobby K, we love you. Thank you for doing music bingo as incredibly as you do. Uh, tonight was fantastic. We're excited for all the future stuff and we'd love to see you out in person soon as much as we can i don't mean to swear at you i'm sorry um but thank you for being here we are going to go over whoops sorry i'm so sorry i always click that by accident um i just want to load in something really quick so i can show you all give me one second All right, so um, most everybody here is a pretty big regular Vega Tricks online trivia. So we are going to start the Taco Bucks system. I, I've been working for a long time to figure out a way that we can reward you all, um, even if we don't have a sponsor. You know, thank you so much again to Sazes and, and, and the other sponsors that have sponsored Vega Tricks online trivia along the way. Um, but we do want to start having a way to offer you guys, you know, this trivia and, and let you win something. So when I came up with this idea, I went back to a very nostalgic place and I thought of being whatever it was, 12 years old and selling magazine subscriptions and, and gallons of cookie dough and trying to sell enough of these so that I could, with, yeah, popcorn, barrels of popcorn so that I could hit a certain tier and earn a certain prize uh, out of the subscription service, right? So with that in mind, I've created this. This is not a, a final um, thing by any means, but let me show you. So this is how the Taco Bucks are going to work. So I'm going to start awarding Taco Bucks when you win <laughs> trivia. Um, you'll be able to win Taco Bucks if you place in first or second or third. 
But this also gives me some, some leeway here. If you guys say something extra funny, I can award you some taco bucks. Or um, if you have a really funny answer, I can award you some taco bucks. This isn't all fleshed out. So you guys are the first people seeing this. Um, so I, I did this as a throwback to those 90s um, subscription services where you could earn prizes. That's what this is meant to, to remind you of. So I hope it does. Uh, but if you look on the screen here, you really have, you can see this, right? On yours? Yeah. yeah. Um, there's a Begatrix ornament that you could win um, that for, for 500 taco bucks, you can win some ta uh, some 90s socks, a pizza sleeping mask, an Alaskan brewing company bottle opener, friends stationery set, that's an incredible one. You get a whole bunch of great stuff. Lagunitas playing cards, Oberon bottle cap mini cornhole board, Lagunitas koozie. You can win a Begatrix pint glass, a Begatrix shirt. There are many more prizes that are not on this. This is just a flyer. There's gonna be a full page on our website dedicated to this. Um, but the first person to ever accumulate and decide to spend 2,000 taco bucks, they can win the coveted, framed, and autographed taco photo. Only one person's ever gonna win that. Uh, and, and honestly, I might just make it and keep it for myself, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, Taco signed it. You can see he's really good Maybe with cursive. Them of Chuck e. Cheese. Okay, good. That's what I was going for. Chuck E. Cheese, 90s, anything like that. Uh, so that's really good to hear. Um, so thanks for sticking with us, guys. I, I've been working a long time on this. I, I want to reward you for being here, um, but I, I need to make it feasible. Uh, we have to be able to do it and continue on as a business. So um, I think this is a good way we're going to move forward with the taco bucks. We'll, we'll start dishing those out. Um, I, I'm honestly just going to play it off the cuff tonight and give you some as I see fit. Uh, but it'll be more um, regulated and, and more straightforward as we go forward. There'll be more uh, rules in place. But make sure you signed up for the loyalty program. With all of that said, thank you for being here. Let's take a look at the final standing. In first place, Emily out of nowhere, only four points ahead of a whole numero uno shirtless beach volleyball in third. Uh, everybody else is rotating through. Take a look. It's in a book. See where you're at and, and let us know. Um, Emily, a whole numero uno shirtless beach volleyball. Uh, let us know who you are. Shoot us a message. I know who a whole numero uno is. I know who shirtless beach volleyball is. I think I know who Emily is. Um, if that's the same Emily who messaged us yesterday. Um, but shoot us a message, Emily. Let us know. I'll send you some taco bucks. And uh, we'll get this thing started. So thank you so much for being here, my friends. Um, taco says thank you. We love you all. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow night. Don't forget, Thursday, 7 o'clock, Parks and Rec Trivia. I'm really excited for that one. We're going to be drinking some snake juice. I haven't told Gina yet, but I'm going to make something. Uh, and then at 9 o'clock, General Knowledge Trivia. Uh, to be completely transparent, I was really sick over the last 24 hours, so I did not reach out to the donation drawing winner, but I will for next week. So tomorrow night's just going to be a regular general knowledge night. Uh, I'll just let you know ahead of time. I'm not going to keep that a secret. Next week we'll do that, though. Uh, and then a bunch of fun stuff coming up. So thank you all for being here. Send us a message, Emily. Everybody else, be safe. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands. Wear your masks. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.